believe in superstitions well i don't but like the proverbial curious cats i have a fascination and that is the myth of the bouquet she who catches the bouquet is next in line for the wedding they see hmm, what a myth Trust me, my being curious has nothing to do with the desperation for love. Like, I mean, I love love, but not like I'm desperate. Hi, Catherine. Did you realize everyone's going to come late to your wedding, right? The wedding's almost over. You know, I'm a busy woman now. <laughs> what are you doing? Ask her and so that thing with the client. Now, you know that client I've been working with? Yes. He didn't like the furniture, so he has to go and sort it out here. Yeah. So I think going in there. Look, the bride's about to throw the cake. Can you hurry up, please? Yeah? Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Actually, I've had my own fair share of love, but they say I have too much of, like, a high standard. But I really don't think so. I mean... <laughs> Gabby? Cute guy. I really like him. But can you hear that sound like a mowing machine? That's actually him snoring. Mm, I just couldn't do. And there was Mike and the body odor. They say you can make a man smell the way you want, right? Mm, well... I'm yet to see the deodorant that can actually help Mike's case. Mm, crazy is good sometimes, you know. The whole adrenaline rush from wild nights. So much fun. But this guy right here? No matter who I get, you can never be higher than the Mozart. Maybe you are not a wreck for real. So I thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Just make our way back to our seats. We're going to invite all the pretty ladies in the house, all our single ladies. You're welcome as you move right to the bouquet. Okay, enough with all that. I am Cassandra Jacobs, and this is me, running like a madwoman to go catch a bouquet just to prove the bouquet myth wrong. Me right. Let's talk about I do love this to prove that no one actually gets married from catching a bouquet. Girl, I'm, you I'm so sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah. fine. Yeah. fine. Yeah.
I didn't want anyone jinxing my research on the bouquet made draw. 20 bouquets. 20. I... And you sorry. And you still haven't found the Isle Man. Isle Man. Oh! Well, doesn't that show that I'm right? Hmm? The bouquet myth, like every other myth, is a mere what? Superstition. You know you can talk to me, right? Hmm? You really, really don't want to share that bond with anyone else. You, you couldn't knock at B. Ah. Hi. What's doing this one? Don't mind that. She felt trying to catch a bouquet at the wedding. <laughs> she felt trying to catch a bouquet. <laughs> Wait, is that how desperate the husband search has become? It's for research purpose and you know that. It's research purpose. Stay there, I'll be adding on that research purpose. Instead of you to confide in us so we can help your, your failing ministry. Hmm. So, um, Catherine, please, I forgot to buy salt and my food is almost done. I know if I ask the switch now, she won't, she won't give me. Why can't you just stick to your own things? Why? 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 Cassandra, this is your mouth. This is your mouth. That's why you never find a good guy in your life. Never. It's only guys like Elijah you'll be meeting. John Rastafari! Let me bring you greetings from the most high. You know, so we come from Jamaica, so we just want to tell you a little story, you know. Right about now, it's a boom, boom, boom. Boom of that guy that can't even speak bad like me. You know, I tell you a little story, a little story, right? Oh, we're well, in the boat now, we want to tell you a little story. I am an eye like this, you know, the sky, bird man, you see. And, uh, I, I swear to God, I will kill you if you give me that salt. Bring our sauce back. Bring, bring my sauce back. Bring it back. Bring, bring the sauce back. Eh? One second. Ma, ma, ma. Oh yeah, be going. Back. Go. Ah. Jamie, take it. So what else do you want? Ma, take it. Take that. Stand up and collect it. You don't take it. So you, you have all the energy, and I'll take. Tick. Ow! <laughs>
Oh, yes. I am the god of the monkey. You don't know what a god is? Mm. You don't know what a bouquet is? Why are you acting all dumb? I'm not dumb. I'm dumbfounded. That's because I don't know English. I didn't do that as an elective course during my school days. I only know heavenly language. Oh, by the way, heavenly language is the best transcription I could use to explain my language skills. There's love in sharing. Also, I've heard humans say that. Somebody help me! Somebody help! There's a mad woman in my room! There's a mad woman in my room! Mad woman? Oh, that's such an offensive use of language, don't you think? What are you doing? I'm calling the police! No, let's call the psychiatrist. You can't connect. You are in something like a dream. Something like a dream? Well, that's the best description I could use to explain what you are experiencing right now. Whose dream? What sort of question is that? You and I are having a conversation and you're asking me whose dream? What is the dream about? I am the god of the bouquet. So, what dream do you think you should be dreaming right now? God of the bouquet. Like, you make bouquets? No, I sell them. Oh, you be a very poor god. That was a joke, Sidney. I respond to the wishes of the bouquet. You know, the bouquet myth. You catch the bouquet. Are you next to get married? Wait, is that real? It's not exactly the way humans put it. The thing is, you catch the bouquet and you're next in line for an aisle man. Okay, but I did not ask for you. Huh? You've been catching bouquets all over the place and you didn't ask for me? What? Research purposes! Listen, listen, listen. Let's just face the truth, okay? You are in dire need of love. No, no, no! I am not in dire need of love. Oh. No. So you don't need a man in your life? No. You don't need a man that can understand you. You don't need a man that can help you make a statement before it comes out of your mouth. You make no, 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 no! Hmm. Okay. In that case, I'll take the man meant for you. Somewhere else. Uh, wait, wait! Wait, 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 wait! Are you gonna turn a bouquet into a man? I'm not a fairy godmother. I do not do magic tricks. That is for children. I deal with adults, marriageable adults. My line of work takes process. We're talking about a lifetime commitment here. Okay. So, let's pretend like I'm interested. Um, pretend? Pre... Do I, the, assume. Assume? No, 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 no. We're not assuming. I know for sure that you are interested. I'm a god, remember? I know all things. Uh, <clears throat> except English words? Well, I know things that pertains to my line of work. Okay, shoot. Shoot? As in, with a gun? I, I mean, I'm listening. 
Oh, okay. All right. So, there is someone meant for you. Now, if you follow instructions, you will kickstart the process for both of you to meet your lo love. No. Uh, to Both of you will meet your love dead. Desti yes, destination. That's it. Destination. Okay. Um, don't you think you might want to jot that down? Or maybe record with your phone? Great. Now, take a bath. Dress nice. Smell good. Go to St. Martin Street. There you meet a man who's wearing a red shirt, a red cap, and a black shoe. He'll be there for 9 a.m. Don't you think you need to repeat after me? I'm recording. Just do it, Cassandra. Uh, take a bath. Wear a nice dress. Mm -hmm. Smell good. Go to St. Martin Street. Uh, you will meet a man wearing a red shirt, a red cap, and black shoes. He'll be there at 9 a.m. That's right. That sounds vague. Yeah, yeah. Well, he will um, walk up to you and say, how do you do? But that'll be after you said hi. He would walk up to you and say, how do you do? But that'll be after you said hi. And the rest will be up to you. And the rest will be up to you. Bravo. Alpha. Okay, that sounds vague. How am I supposed to know what to do and oh, stuff? I am not a fairy godmother. These things takes process, okay? Uh, so how am I supposed to go about the process without a map? Right, so watch out for that day. He shall be holding a phone that doesn't belong to him after a night of fun and morning of scares. Twice he will not be a believer. Now you're just confusing me. Well, everything that you need is within you. Okay. Ooh. Selfie? Sure. Oh, awesome. Let's not forget, you would always express how it's What is that supposed to mean? That is the most ridiculous thing I've heard in my little existence. Little existence, K. Old woman like you, I beg, stop it. Uh, you are the one the bouquet got appeared to. What does that tell you? Uh, I don't need a husband, thank you. What if, what if it was a dream? It wasn't a dream. I know how I felt. You said she told you to record something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's true, that's true. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, yeah. I can see your hello, 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 hello. Is she the one sounding like a frog? Are you really trying to say something about my singing skills right now? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> What's all this now?
Stuffs, really, it's stuff, not stuffs. How can you speak bad English to a god? Aren't you scared for your soul? Eh, hey, well, she's not that fluent in English, so that's alright. Hmm? Like, she kept using like a dictionary on phone. <clears throat> okay, so a god who's the god of bouquet comes to your room to see you and uses the dictionary on a phone. I it's just all so disturbing. What if you were sleep talking? Then I now carried my phone and recorded. I, I don't understand. What if you were sleep everything? Okay, so how are you going to explain all the sh sh muffled sounds that is there now? What if you just dodged an alien invasion? That is the most ridiculous thing you have ever said. What's wrong with you now? Huh? Alien invasion. They're the one that said she didn't speak English. Uh -huh. Maybe witches or wizards or birds flying or whatever, but I didn't even show up. This is Africa now. Stop it. What's wrong with you? You need to have a more progressive mindset, okay? Can you have a password plan? Oh, so I'm the one that's fit for the aliens, right? Uh, have you looked at yourself recently? They're gonna like you. What does that mean? Because I'm light skinned. What are you doing? Am I still here? enough to show that this wasn't a dream mm -hmm. it's not beyond reasonable doubt look babes I know this wasn't a dream I know how I felt it was a dream no it wasn't it was no it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't, 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 wasn't okay wasn't. hypothetically speaking let's assume it's real the next line of action is for you to get ready and go to Martin Street by 9 a.m. Simple. That is... After taking my bath, put on a fine dress, You're not wearing makeup. Hmm. She didn't say I should wear makeup now. Were you this dumb when you were talking to her? I was dumbfounded. <laughs> Kill me already, okay? Rita, all I'm trying to do is get my footing at work. I just resumed there and you know what they say about first impressions. Oh, this your first impression thing is making you neglect me and I don't like it. And you know how much I love attention, baby. Okay, babe. Can we, can we just go back here and talk about this? No, 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 no. I'm, babe, I'm sorry now. I've been here for over 30 minutes. I want to go I'm home. I'm sorry. I don't know your name. Cassandra. Cassandra. What? Ah. Martin. Why are you wearing red, red cap, red shirt and black shoes? Are you on your way to do an abortion? You'll be on your way to do an abortion. <laughs> because that's how you're behaving right now. I think I'm having hallucination. <laughs> you hallucinating? <laughs> Cassandra, what do you smoke? <laughs> why do you always have to assume the worst? Why? Uh, uh, is it not you again? Cassandra, that's who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> 
Something happened last night. I saw someone. Hey, it don't happen. It don't happen. STD. <laughs> STD. Sexually transmitted disease. What's your business? Ah, I wonder which one you've carried like this now. Cassandra. I'm This is no time for jokes. I don't even know why you had to go to work today. You could have just come and helped me. Look, I'll stay on the line, okay? All you have to do is say my name. I'm right here. Catherine? That's my name. What's up? Catherine, I think... I think it's happening again. Oh my God. Catherine, there's someone walking towards me. Say hi. He's wearing a red shirt and a red cap. Look, a guy is going to walk up to you, ask you how do you do, but that's only if you say hi. I don't... Oh my God, Catherine, he's smiling at me. He's smiling at me. for his number. Tell him you call him. Hmm? You know that made me seem slutty. Look, you're the one who saw a god, okay? Can you just do as you're told? Armstrong. Cassandra. <laughs> you don't look like you're in a very good shape. Um, I had a very bad encounter last night and I can't believe my luck. Do you mind if I walk with you? Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> look, first it was hallucinations and then I met two guys, two cute guys matching the same description. How did 
I supposed to tell them apart? How am I supposed to tell them apart? Obviously, she's trying to punish me. Calm down. Just be calm. There's no problem without a solution, okay? I'm calm. I am calm. Okay. Okay. Since we don't have a manual for what exactly we're supposed to do, we need to be innovative. She says everything I need is within me. Okay. So let's start with... What kind of guy do you like? Well, obviously, cute. Mm -hmm. No helicopter sounding snores, definitely. Um, must be a sweet talker, but not a womanizer. Uh, must... No body odor. No incurable body odor. Most definitely. Must be a little bit crazy, but not Jarastafari level. I must know how to sing. Okay. Yeah. So, going back, what you like, the cuteness part is sorted. Uh, what we're going to do is you should call them, tell them to come over for a test. What do you mean? <sighs> an and sang that song? Uh, it, it doesn't, doesn't sound, sound like John Legend. Legend. Well, I think maybe it's because I'm not in the studio. Alright. Do you know how much these people spend in producing a single song? So, you think you can sing? <laughs> John Legend has nothing on me. You should get your autograph then. <laughs> I'd rather not do what I know I can't do because I want to impress a girl. I really do think you should try to impress me. Mm. How about to impress each other? How? Well... <sighs> Give me a bit and I'll speak some lies on it. Oh, are you two a bunch of girls that take, 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 but you never give? By the way, that's a line from Bruno Mars. Oh, wait. <laughs> speechless, speechless, speechless. That's how I make you feel. That, that's my kid. No, 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 no. You don't get to come into our house and rub music in our face just because you say we should sing. <laughs> Challenge is on. <laughs> Bring <Yeah>. it on. <laughs> 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 Uh, you ready? Right. Okay! Mm -hmm. You said you should sing, not eat. What are you doing? Just follow my lead. Okay. So, I'll be the snare and the hat, and you'll be the kick. Okay. I'll be the... You'll be the tutu. I'll be the ketuke. Ketu, 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 are you ready? I was born ready. Just find somewhere to put it on. Okay. Come on.
Of course, I know it's been a lengthy journey. Every thorn, every person who was starting on me. I see M, I was grocery shopping. And this lady said my music is our best discovery. My last day, part of the Armstrong's a smart guy. I think we messed up. My girls, we're supposed to be in control of these things. You right? to achieve that so your friend Catherine decided to hide her face because of a simple bit huh no she's working late tonight are you sure yes of course <laughs> <laughs> your money for her life why is it my money or my life why not I'm on your life. Ross, calm down. Who is your girlfriend? No! My girlfriend, she's not my girlfriend. Say that now, you're not my girlfriend. Please, 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 Yes. Yes. So you want to tell me that you have no visit in our chambers? No, we're not there yet. That's not an appropriate question, sir. Friend, what are you? Thief or friend? Thief, sir. Thief, sir. Sir. Thief, sir. Then that's an appropriate question because if you don't visit in our chambers, then it just break. Yes, sir. He's getting it with me. No. I'm not there. I know this was in a real robbery, but my adrenaline is pumping. Oh. Who's stupid adrenaline? Don't matter, you could not catch. I feel like a robber. It's hot. It's yeah. hot. Yeah. Boy, don't tell me I do exercise, yo. Yeah, Look at our panting. Damn. Have you two gone mad? I'm not a man. Oh, so because I'm a man, I should carry a gun and start harassing my fellow man, eh? I feel like it's a real gun. Oh, because... You, you, you want to test the gentlemanliness? This is help us now. Come, you this Cassandra. You're always up to some mischief. You're a bad influence to Catherine. Catherine, you better choose your friends wisely. This guy will put you in trouble one day. That is now. We need your help, please. How much? Yeah. Huh? So you want to collect money from us? How much would you pay me for risking my life? Nothing. We're neighbors now. Um, <laughs> we're neighbors. So <laughs> because we're neighbors, I'm suddenly not made of flesh and blood, eh? <laughs> See, let me tell you, a task like this should come with life insurance. You guys would have to give me evening food for six months. Abba, Martins, that's extortion joke. Martins, no. Mm -hmm. Three months and that's final. It's just food, so... Yeah, you're cooking now. Where is that fun friend of yours, Catherine? She's working late. Oh, is she, is she coming back home tonight? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Mm. So basically, man, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. You know, I'm really into you. Like, you know, I'm not even trying to beat around the bush. I'm just going to say it how, how it is, man. You know, I know you might be having doubts about me and, you know, stuff like that. But I just want you to know that I'm not like all the other guys. I'm just hey! Like, Your money! Oh my life! Wait, 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 wait. That is a very funny thing to say. Why not hey, stop that. my money or my life? Is that not your normal life? Move it! Ah. This is your girlfriend and you wouldn't want her hurt! You guys look like a bunch of rookies. Are you sure there's bullets in that gun? This guy 
I do say we come here for treasure, yeah? Yes, sir. You shoot down. I'm going to shoot this yellow. Wait now. That won't be necessary. The truth is, I don't have any money on me, but we could go to the ATM and I'll get you some. This guy, what are you mean for? You don't want us. Shut him. Shut him. Stay there. Stay there. If you move, I shoot. A guy has to stay sharp, you know. Oh, my bros, you're not a sharp guy, though. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> my <a> sharp guy. <laughs> So you mean you connived with your neighbor to stage a robbery just to see if I'm a gentleman? That's the plan. Who does that? What if something had gone wrong? What if I had Kung Fu skills and I decided to hit both your heads together? Do you have Kung Fu skills? No, what if I had a gun because I was military and decided to use the gun to hit both your heads just to save bullets? Are you in the military? No, what if... Wait, 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 we, we, we get it. Uh, we apologize for the prank. But, I mean, look at the bright side. You passed the test. Passed the test? What is that supposed to do for me? Well, for one, it's not going to get you any closer to using those condoms on my friend. Wait, so what were your intentions in the first place? They were for research purposes. Did he just use my line? Hmm? Flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. Girl, you two just might be perfect for each other. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. You left me at the mercy of armed robbers, and you really think there's a coming back from that? See, I'm not a strong person. No. My name used to be Jude, and my dad now changed it to Armstrong in, when I was age seven. Yeah, I used to get bullied when I was in school. My dad said that because my name was Jude, that I had the spirit of Judas. And that he felt betrayed that his son could not fight back. My dad believed that the name that you give to a child follows the child. So, so he changed my name from Jude to Armstrong so that I would be strong. They had to do a naming ceremony for me. They did. At age seven? Please tell me you're saying these things just to gain sympathy. I wish I was. Obviously, it, it didn't work. See, let me make it up to you by, by taking you to dinner. Wow. Wow. You must be the most shameless man to ever walk the face of this earth. Just go for the clear. Just go now. With this coward. Are you, are you joking? He legit. Let's see. Don't forget it was a prank in the first place. But what if it was real? The point is, it was real. What if what was real? Nothing. <clears throat> Look, don't, don't get too emotional and forget why we're doing this in the first place. <clears throat> Look, we can't say until we are sure. And right now, we're not sure, okay? Relax. Use this, accept the dinner, and use this as a way to test his pocket weight. Mm -hmm.
Sisma. 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 Babes, I swear if this is not worth it, I will kill you. Look, you need to remember that this is just a possibility of a possible dream you had. Okay, so whichever way it turns out, we'll call it fate. I don't understand this one that you're giving to sound superstitious. <laughs> it's your lack of belief that got us here in the first place. See, what? Me, I still don't understand the concept of me taking my own car. Out. Look, you need to be prepared for all eventualities because that guy seems erratic, okay? There you go, you're gorgeous, girl. What? Yeah, oh, look at you. Okay, time to go. <sighs> I just skip. Good luck. Skip. That you're looking like a responsible monkey today. Who was the occasion? This one that you're looking like uh, an irresponsible banana today. Tell me, who is eating you up tonight, huh? Martin! Is it the one with a thousand and one condoms or the one with a ch ch chicken heart? <laughs> you need to learn how to talk to a lady. I'm having a date with my girlfriend, Rita. So I certainly do know how to talk to a lady. Are you just gonna keep staring and drinking? It's a restaurant, not a club. <laughs> I'm actually very nervous because you're too beautiful for comfort. Don't look bad yourself. I think you need to slow down. Yeah. I might, um, I might get drunk. <laughs> Guess what? I actually can't hold down my drink. <laughs> you can't hold your drink and you're drinking this much? Mm. You know they say, alcohol keeps nervousness at bay. And <laughs> maybe it was that time I left you at the robbery scene. Look, it, it's all in the past. Just slow down, okay? <laughs> Alcohol makes me very hungry. Incredibly hungry. <laughs> I am a hungry, <laughs> nervous, and light headed man with a very, very pretty lady. <laughs> Your friend must think I'm a coward. I bet you think so too, right? But, baby, don't worry about the thing, cause <laughs> every little thing is gonna be I'm, a I'm lie. Strong. I'm strong. You need to keep your voice down. You are embarrassing me and yourself. That's because we are finished here. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Please, we can't have this sort of disturbance in our business. What do you mean? Am I not paying for the business? Uh, uh, I, I, I don't you know that cop was fight? Madam, please, kindly pay up and take your man out. I'm sorry, he doesn't do well for that call. 25k. That's expensive. No. That's small money. Very small money. Hey. I've been watching you for some time now, and you're beautiful. And 
<laughs> you got a big bum bum. <laughs> bum. Oh shit. That was a pretty slap. That slap was prettier than you. <laughs> the slap was prettier than her. <laughs> It's such a fine slap, chicken slap for Africa. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, guess what? <laughs> I left my wallet at home. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny. You <laughs> think this is? You, you think this is funny? No, you think this is funny? I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Oh, make, your, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Woo! Make yourself comfortable. It's a nice bed from Australia. <laughs> you brought me out to embarrass me. And not only embarrass me, make me pay for the embarrassment with money that I do not have. <laughs> I'll tell you something. You are sweet, baby. <laughs> oh shit, man. <sighs> Let's see how sweet you think I am when I leave you here and you wake up in the morning. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Come back here, come back here. <laughs> She's here. You can't do it without me. I told you so. <laughs> get you to shut up and get up. Must we leave here? My shoes. Must we go? Mm. I think I think I spread my trousers. Business. It went nicely. I can Just drive. Stay there. I can drive. Oozing of alcohol. No accident. It's not open. friend anyone could ever ask for. Love you too. Oh, this is the worst night of my life. Like the worst date and the worst type of snore. What are we going to do about him? What are you suggesting? That we bring the helicopter into the house? But the helicopter is too big to come into the house. I totally agree. I mean, this house is way too small and the helicopter is way too big. I suggest
water on him. Right. Okay, okay, let's get buckets of water. Hey, 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 hey bucket of water. Are you, do you want to destroy my car that is already destroyed? Aren't you the one that suggested the water thing? I did not mean that we should take off his clothes and then give him a bath inside the car now. Uh-uh. So, something more, um, direct. I don't know. Some, what, like pure water? <laughs> Pure water. Yes. Right. So it can be controlled. Yeah. Yes. 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 You're mine. Did I sleep in the car? Mm mm. You slept in the first out. Go, 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 get out from my car. Oh, don't be so harsh now. The last time I checked, we are in a restaurant. What <laughs> happened? Matthias, what's wrong? Why it's just that you normally cause a scene when you see Cassandra. Catherine, my life does not revolve around Cassandra. My life does not revolve around this. You guys stop leaving me alone now! Ah! What is it? Am I going to kill myself because of Cassandra? Will I die because of this girl? Every, every time Cassandra... See, I, I'm not in the mood for this. I, I'm not in the mood for this. Just leave me alone! But, Martin, I need your help. Please. You, you need my help for what? To help me get this god for taking idiot out of this house. I brought you back to where I met you. It's not over. It's not over. I'll come again. To get a power. I beg. Man, that guy is strong. That one. Man, I, I need some water. Eh, hey, hey, why were you screaming like a mad dog at the house? I had a fight with Rita, and I needed something to to punch. Not really. I'm still heartbroken. Do you need a help? Yeah, that might help. Okay, Catherine, I'll hug him. Why me? Because I'm heartbroken. And heartbroken can't console a heartbroken. Come here. I need a hug too. Oh, come on. <laughs> My hair! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hello. Greg, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to another episode of This Actually Happened, except it didn't. Lately, I've become a little bit obsessed with this radio show that I hear when I drive to the gym in the mornings a lot. I do. Basically, the premise of the show is somebody calls the radio because they just went on a date, they had a great time. <sighs> well, I think I want to quit. <sighs> or, Lawrence could be the one. Hmm? I mean, okay, let's, let's look at it. Let's forget the fact that he's not John Legend. But he's cool, you know, he's nice. He's been true so far, if you ask me. Mm, I think he's so mad at me over the whole robbery prank. Right. Oh well, you can make it up to him by taking him to dinner. 
Oh. Now, now, now I can see clearly that you hate me. Oh. I just, no, we just survived Armageddon. And now you want me to jump into another one? Look. Mm -hmm. What if he's the one? You're just gonna let it slip away. Um, like I told you, I'm not desperate for love. Okay, I'll call him. I see me every day now. I say no desperate for love. You sure do know how to bribe a guy. I just wanted to make it up to you. I was literally waiting by the phone waiting for you to call me. How do you mean? I like you very much, Cassandra. It would be a real shame to lose you over some silly prank. <laughs> Why do you sound like you're about to propose? And what if I am? <laughs> then you would be the craziest man on earth. I uh, hope I wouldn't be too crazy if I asked to pay for all of this. Um, I invited you out, so I'll sort it. I insist. You are a gentleman, and thank you for the treat. I should be thanking you for the experience. <laughs> He had a wife. Mm -hmm. Well, I slept in this morning this weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, baby. See, I'm doing it. You're married? Why are you looking like a pickup that just got rescued from Third Milan Bridge? No, why are you looking like someone that just got into a fight with a chicken? It's because I just, I just got into a fight. With who? With, with Rita's real boyfriend. What? <laughs> Apparently, I didn't know that all this while I've, I've been a caretaker. Dude was so strong, but you know me now. I give the guy the beating of his life. He's a crazy fellow. Self-defense? More like fight or die. Well, I went on a date with Lawrence and his wife showed up. You, you don't say, wait, that guy's married. <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh. I, 
And she gave me a shower. <laughs> what? People are like crazy, though. <laughs> I had no idea he was married. And wow. now Catherine's number is not going through. I looked my keys inside, and I'm just... I'm tired. I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm just so embarrassing. And I'm the restaurant. And I'm... so embarrassed wearing your shirt. Yeah. Something to keep the cold at bay. Has Catherine's leg open? No. Then we play a game while we wait. Truth or dare? Why truth or dare? Because I want to know about all your escapades tonight, and this is the most fun way to get through the night. Truth or dare? Truth. You know wearing pants is under there. No, that's inappropriate. Hey, you know the rules. You don't answer the question, you drink. You don't do what you're told, you drink. I guess I'm drinking then. I guess that sort of gives you away. Martin, what thoughts are you having in your head? trying to get into your pants if that's what you're implying. You wish. Get off your high horse. I wouldn't do you even if you were the last girl in the world. <laughs> oh, please. I know I'm the one you think about every time you hold a soap. Dig a hole in the ground. Really? Do you find me that unattractive? <laughs> Someone's hitting on me now. <laughs> I would never hit on you even if you were the last man on earth. Gateway to heaven, you know that. Mm. That's what they all say, and then you wouldn't last two minutes. <laughs> I wouldn't last two minutes. Me. Okay. Okay. Uh. You want to try it? It's gonna be a waste of time, so there's no point trying. The night is still young. Truth or dare? Hey, mm. how are you feeling this morning? Ah, uh, jet lag, but I'm fine. Jet lag? I was hoping you would fill the gaps. Can roll as we knocked it off. Ooh! <laughs> you were such a screamer. <laughs> Look, 
are quite lazy, though. Oh, my God! Take a bath. Wear a nice dress. Smell good. Go to St. Martin Street. Uh, you will meet a man wearing a red shirt. So how could we possibly have had sex when this was all you were talking about last night? How did you get access to my phone? Hmm? How? How did you get my password? Mm. And that's how I went to the street and found the two of them. It's a lie. I swear, it's true. I mean, I... I, I, I recorded the whole thing on my phone. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Um, oh, <laughs> there you are. Oh. Here, my password is Cassidy. C-A-S-S-I-D-Y. Cassidy. Has anyone ever told you you have such cute lips? Mm. Is that the alcohol speaking? I actually think you're really cool. Look, Cassandra, there's a bed in the room. You can go there and sleep. Me. It's only like Lawrence to you. <laughs> no, because Lawrence is a jerk and you are not. <laughs> Cassandra, you must be very, very high. <laughs> I think you need to go and sleep. I think you're really, really cool. Mm. Speaking. Talking. <laughs> How much did you hear? Pretty much everything. And I believe it's all total bullshit. Look, considering everything I went through with Armstrong and Lawrence, I must agree with you. But everything she said happened to come through. Right? Well, everything except for one vital. Watch out for that day. He shall be holding a phone that doesn't belong to him after a night of fun and morning of scares. Twice he will not be a believer. Now you're just confusing me. Twice he shall not be a believer. What? What's your surname? Um, Martin Zuche. Um, okay. But at any point in time, were you ever referred to as St. Martin? <laughs> Wait, how did you know that? Yeah, 
that used to be my nickname back in secondary school days, you know, when everyone would pick cool names and, you know, be feeling fly. Ah, good old days, Martin Zuche. St. Martin's, ah. Go to St. Martin's Street. St. Martin's Street. Martin Street? No. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. No, she, she said, go to St. Martin's Street. And that's two streets away, so I mean, no. No. My mother's maiden name is actually Street. No. Stop now. But what's wrong with you? You ought to be whining me. I'm not whining you. But look at the which African name is Street, eh? Well, that was her name before she got married to my dad. Obviously. Street. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait. W what are you saying? did wrong was not believe in superstitions. actually look good together. Eh? Mm -hmm. Who to? Me, Martin Zuche and, and Cassandra. That one, God forbid, God forbid. Even if she's last girl in the world, never! Oh, what are you even saying? It, it, it's not happening, never! How do we know this nonsense? What is she acting like she's crazy? Final answer? Hmm? We um, kissed. You and Cassandra kissed? No way. Wait. Oh, wait, was it that bad? Well, apart from the fact that she was, she was drunk. Well, if you ask me, you look like you liked it. Who looks like who like? How, how is it showing on my face? Stop joking, you know, that one is play. I don't like fake me like that. So how, can you see it on my face? Is it written? <laughs> okay, God. Okay, God, now is your time to appear as if you're even real in the first place. Leave her and don't. I 
have all the signs? Because this whole thing is so confusing! I am your dream come true. No. No, 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 no. You, you are more like a nightmare. Oh my goodness. Me? That is such an awful thing to say to a special, kind-hearted, life-bringing, breathtaking, butterfly-sending, love-making god like me. You are overwhelming. Do you know that? Dictionary! Oh, oh, phone got stolen. <coughs> the gods must be crazy. Well, you see, I got fascinated with the public transport system and I wanted to go to Oshodi and then to take selfie. But then someone who probably needed the phone better than I do stole it. And you let him go? Hmm, I'm not Michael. Neither am I Gabriel. I see. So you couldn't will yourself another one? Now I know why Fairy Godmother is so popular. You humans just love magic. And I told you, I work with the process. It, it, look, it's just a form. It's not that deep. If humans had more deeper conversations with their phone, this earth would be a better place. So, you really didn't like it? Why, Martins? Of all men! You chose them yourself, and the heavens agreed with you. He's your perfect fit. Of your bone. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean I chose him myself? Yeah, you did. You did. to hurt his annoying head. Not from my viewpoint. This whole thing is just becoming so stressful! You do like the taste of his lips, don't you? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Hypothetically speaking, right? Let's even say that... Hypo what? Hypothetically. Let's assume that I like him. Why didn't you just point him out? Why did you have to put me through all that stress? Oh gosh, you humans are so dramatic. And I've come to realize that you do not value what comes easily to you. That's it. Oh, you're such a god. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to say to you. What's so bad about you? Uh, everything. Okay, let's see. You like cute, he's cute. You like funny, he's funny. You and annoying? Oh. Come on, laughter is good medicine, and annoyance creates bond. Cassandra, he's been such a good friend to you. How? If anything, he's been a bully. If anything, he's been there for you. Has there been any time you needed him that he doesn't turn up? And we all could use a partner who is first a friend. Next. You like his lips. That is a sexual compatibility. No, no, I don't. I... Mm -mm. Lying to yourself is a long road to loneliness and a bitter ending. So, I, I'm supposed to walk up to him and tell him what? Oh, hi, Martin. The bouquet god says you're my Iron Man. To the right man. Yes, to the right man. It doesn't matter who throws what. And Martin is the right man. 
Now I'm freaking out. That's why you have your God beside you. If only you would accept this challenge. That's all you are. Do you not want to have a relationship made in heaven? Mm, I must say, this is the most insightful and by far most annoying conversation of my young adult life. All end in tears. What was Sandra? Um, Martin. I I don't know if maybe maybe you and I could could be an item. You and I. And I, Tim. Hell no. Hell to the no. Hell no. Yeah. Oh. Is the bouquet good here? I just heard a voice now. Man up! Oh. Um, Martin? Is there something you want to say to me? Me? No, no nothing at all. Say something before. Well, you caught me off so too late. I don't have anything to say. I would be very careful about my next words. What did you even see in all those guys? What other boys? Those losers you dated. Are you trying to say something to me? Cassandra, that kiss took too long. And you even had to be drunk to even try. Hmm, is someone confessing he's undying love? Are you trying to say that you like me? Why do you think I always come to borrow things from you? I, I always try to annoy you. Because you're a jerk? Yes. A jerk? That's, that's crazy. Of a jerk. Cassandra, I've always liked you from the get-go. Too bad it, it, it had to take a guard for you to see that. So why didn't you tell me all this while? Because you're, you're a jerk. Do you realize you're trying to wound me right now? 
I'm so sick and tired of all this talks! Get into me already! Get a room already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love had always been right in front of me, but it had to take it God for me to see it. I'm sure you see the lesson here, right? Don't be like me. Lately, I've been burning all my love into the ashes. All the love I gave to you and never did me right, girl, I know But now I think about it all, girl, you could've gave it all Girl, you could've gave it all, like I did You know, you know, it don't matter how far you go G to the U to the D-O, I'll be right there with you You know, you know, it don't matter how far you go G to the U to the D-O, I'll be right there with you That's why I'm not saying nobody No, do me like this, I do like that Get part of the same energy In my zone, no And I'm all alone, oh yeah On my phone, no Girl, I don't go, no, yeah, yeah Got the volumes up Tryna keep the voices out, yeah So I like the door Tryna keep my demons out, yeah, yeah. Keep my demons out, yeah